Hey everybody, Chris Thunderlaser, and what I want to cover in this video is this probe right here. Um, it is possible that this probe hits something and breaks and bends the spring-loaded tip on it, or uh, that it that the nut on top, that silver nut, um, ends up loosening. The, the probe loosens, it falls out, the nut falls out into the trum, crumb tray underneath. Uh, so how do we put it back in? So I guess the first thing we need to do is take it out so we can show you. So let me unscrew this so that you can see. And literally, it just screws into this silver part that moves up and down there. Um, the silver part is our trigger mechanism for the sensor and also the nut for this probe. Now, once we have this unscrewed, typically if the head is moving, that silver part is going to fall out and this is going to end up on your bed and you're gonna be like, what the heck happened? Um, but let's knock that out. So one of the tools that you're gonna to want to have around to put this back together or replace it is probably a pair of tweezers or a really small needle nose pliers. Um, this is threaded to make it super easy. So here you have that. And again, it's threaded. Uh, just don't cross thread it. So gently thread it back in and you can see exactly how that works. There is a little bit of blue Loctite on there. If you want to replace that as well, uh, put a drop on and then screw it back in. Now, what we have to do is gently put this back into its housing or in the sensor. And again, using a pair of small needle nose pliers, a uh, pick tool, or a pair of tweezers like that, it's going to work perfect. Now, trying to put this in without securing that nut slash trigger for the sensor is almost impossible. Uh, you could be very, very gentle, but typically you will knock it right off. So it's advised that we, we kind of try to to hold it in there like so and then start to screw the probe in. Once the probe is threaded just enough, that's all you'll need to do. We can tighten this back up. Uh, you are going to want to tighten from this point, not from this point because this the bottom part actually spins on its own. So using the top part like I said, this part will spin and turn uh, without that top part. So we want to tighten that top, top part down a little bit. Double check, make sure that the probe is moving and triggering. We can see the, the LED light. Uh, let me shut off my light here. We can see the LED light in there get triggered. And this is how we know that this is working again and functional. We can put our lens back in and go ahead and use that. But again, uh, silver nut slash uh, sensor trigger is attached to the probe and we just have to make sure that we use some tweezers or something to get that, uh, that little nut back in there and secure it so that we can thread this back together. And that's it, that's how we put the, the probe in if we have to replace it or if we've broken it or if it's fallen off. 